while we have a moment, I want to mention the, the very sad news today about Harmon Killebrew, who <clears throat> cut quite a figure back in my youth. The first World Series I can ever remember is the 65 World Series when the Twins played the Dodgers, and Killebrew was, of course, the big twin slugger. He announced today that his fight against cancer has come to an end, that he's entering a hospice and will live out his final days as Coley lines out for the second out. And, you know, it's an unusual thing for a public figure to do. And I think what it does is it gives those of us who watched Carmen Killebrew play, who knew him as one of the nicest guys in baseball, gives us a chance to tell him how much we all love him before he leaves us. Well, Harmon that was called the killer and a great power hitter, cleanup hitter for that Twins ball club that were there with Tony Oliva. Just a wonderful man. I was in his company a few times in golf tournaments and just a terrific guy. It was such a great thrill for me to meet him. Uh, one of my heroes growing up, my father loved his uh, swing and uh, was one of those guys that he had me watch intently on TV back in the days when there wasn't baseball every day. Um, and I do remember that series and my good friend Jim Cott uh, lost that game seven to right. Sandy Koufax uh, two nothing. Koufax pitched what on two days rest that. Yep. <clears throat> but Harmon we love you and it's just you know cancer I lost my father to cancer so it's just it's, it's tough. Well Harmon if you can hear us. We uh, we're thinking about you and we'll we'll never ever forget you. Five hundred and seventy three home runs. Hall of Famer. And just a, a wonderful man.